This morning, the Lord put the number 3724 in my spirit. When I got up, I noticed someone had asked the following question in the comment section of one of my videos. Please, could you answer why God needs blood sacrifices? I responded that Jesus was the final sacrifice needed. No more sacrifices are needed. God is a God of justice. To save a life costs a life. Life is in the blood. Then I looked up 3724 in Strong's Hebrew Concordance. 3724 is kofer, a cover. The price of a life, a redemption price, a covering, a ransom. It refers to the price demanded in order to redeem or rescue a person. The night before last, I dreamed about wearing a large coat, a cover or a covering, symbolizing covering over all my sins. It came with a pair of bleachy white new shoes, symbolizing my sins being completely washed away. Even though the shoes were brand new, it seemed like a yard sale because the cost of the coat and the shoes together had a redemption price of what seemed like only a quarter. Last night, in the middle of the night, I heard the Lord, who is outside of time, say, The ones with blood in their veins were the ones that were raptured. This is referring to those who've been given eternal life by believing in Jesus, who conquered death through his resurrection, and who purchased our sin covering by the shedding of his blood, on the cross, we who are still alive and remain on earth, we will be caught up together with those who've gone before us in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. You may have noticed that the words were in past tense. We were raptured. We were caught up. And this may not only be a message for people hearing it at the time of this recording, but for people to hear after we are raptured. Again, time is short. I've had dreams about being surrounded by the military. I've heard they're coming. I've heard you're finally in your last year. With all that's coming on the earth, from military vehicles to rockets to drones to mass surveillance cameras to China's social credit system being implemented in the U.S. The only safe place to hide is in Jesus. Psalm 91, 1-4 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. Praise the Lord. In my dream, I heard the words, We were brothers in Goshen. Goshen was a place where Joseph, the dreamer, where Joseph's family settled in Egypt. It was a place of the best, a place of plenty, and a place of comfort. comfort. And it was from that place they also left out of Egypt in the Exodus. People will be going about business as usual, and we will soon be exiting before things get any worse. Come, Lord Jesus, Maranatha, be ready for the Lord's return and call upon the name of the Lord today and be saved. He parts the water when we're surrounded. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.